Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we've got the update that's just gone live. And I think this artifact thing is going to change a lot and open up a lot of new strategies that are going to come out over the coming months. But uh, let's get into it. Okay, so if we jump over here to Heroes, I'll click on my Leica. As you can see, she's got Grace equipped. Uh, and when we go to change this, if we hit change, you can see equipped two of two. So as you level them up, so if we go here and we go enhance, uh, as you can see, you got these slots unlocked at two stars, unlocked at three stars, four stars, four stars, five stars, five stars. So as you star up your artifacts now, you can actually equip them to more heroes as you unlock more slots which is going to be huge, I think. I definitely think, uh, and, th and the other thing I wanted to show you guys is if I go in here uh, to battle and I just say, so Pharrell has the, the the grace. It's my only one at one star, so it's the only one I can test it with. But if I wanted to put the Lyca in there, they both have grace. We'll have a look at Lyca again. Both have grace. Both can go in the battle together. That is huge. That is going to be huge. What I want to do is I want to jump over to PvP. Ooh, we have the Autumn thing. I hadn't clicked over to Autumn. I really like the way they do this. That It looks tidy. It looks tidy. I like it. Okay. So what I wanted to check was Arena. If I go here and I go here and then I say swap you for Leica. Okay, we can, we can do it in PvP. The question remains, and I'm assuming you can... I'm just going to assume you can do it in Challenges. Uh, and then the other one I wanted to check was, can we do it over here? So I feel, I feel like it's just everywhere. You can just do it straight up. Look, hey, just quietly on the free to play account. Look at that legend. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit proud of it. Not really. <laughs> I just had a good team for it. Uh, but if I go here and I slap Leica in, uh, no, I'd need the Pharrell as well. Yes. Let's put the Pharrell in as well just for the gigs of it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm tipping it's gonna work absolutely everywhere. So that means boss fights, I think this actually does change a lot. We'll go into the other stuff from the update in a minute, but I just wanna sit on this for a second. And the other cool thing is, um, when you go to it and you go enhance, and you can see there, it doesn't matter, uh, you can remove them, It's it, it costs you nothing, you can apply them from here and it shows you who's got what already. I feel like this is a really intuitive system and I really do like it. So really, really cool. Absolutely love this. I think it's fantastic. But like I said, I feel like it's going to change things. Uh, for one, <laughs> God comp in PVP with everyone on Jura's call. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like it may not be the most optimal way to play it. Obviously, maybe have someone on I I'm just saying. God comp with a lot of Jura's calls, like they're going to ult a lot more often and you're not going to get a turn. In campaign as well, God comp in campaign. You've got, if you've got like the Rowan, um, the Mihira in PvE or the, the Tassi in PvP, uh, you got, who else you got? You got Twins, R Twins, Rowan uh, and Aziz all on that, like, damn, that's going to be hefty. And then boss fights. Boss fights is just going to be straight up. You got as long as you got twins in the back row, you're going to have Soros and whoever else, both with blade on. They're just going to stack that link attack. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, things like Gwyneth. Like Gwyneth, I always find I like to have Drew's eye on her, um, just for that. You know, you get the crit, you get the haste. You know, it all it all helps. But then, like, if you're using it with like an Iron or something like that, I like to have it on Iron as well. So now you can do that. I'm sure there'll be other things that people might want to try. The other thing is, who knows? It may bring in a tank meta with like stall teams using Jura's Chalice on everyone. I, I I honestly don't know, but I feel like we're going to see a lot of interesting things over the coming months once it does get implemented. Um, for instance, like boss teams with like you know your your twins and your rowan both with the call your two front rows with the the blade i don't know we'll see some interesting stuff anyway that is enough about that really good system really intuitive and i'm really pumped for it uh i might jump over to gwendolyn's account now to check out uh the oak inn Okay, over here on Gwendolyn's account, a couple other things I wanted to check out. The union system, as you can see, you've got the one of three here. So when we go ahead and permanently activate it, because we've got someone in our friends list with it, 
unfortunately we don't have the permanent activation on that one but as long as you have people in your friends list that have all of them you go ahead and you get that uh we've got to obviously permanently activate that and they're done it doesn't matter like all these ones like you know like is one that you always want to have it on but then you always get a friend that has the ira that then feeds the ira and screws you so now we can do that that is just uh that's that's so good that is actually so good uh, why does this one not permanently activate? People? People? Why is this... Wait. What? Oh, okay. That kind of sucks. Okay, I get it now. I think it's only if you have the heroes uh, at that stage, you can permanently activate it. Uh, if it's a friend's hero, then it doesn't count. So if you've, if you've got it, it goes in. If it's a friend's hero, it doesn't permanently. But that means all you got to do is level them up for fodder once, and that's it. Because the Ascended tier heroes, it doesn't matter because your friends are always going to have them ascended. So that's not too bad. That's still really, really nice. Okay. Uh, not the guild. Didn't, didn't actually want to go to the guild. We want to go to the Oak Inn. We want to check this bad boy out. Uh, and we... Ooh, smart selections. Here we go. Click. And then we just hit Optimize. Okay. Okay, you can choose high priority. Ah, uh, I actually, this is actually really nice. Okay, so I'm wondering if, if I put you up here, well, does that mean you'll steal fur furniture from others? As you can see, it's doing the reshuffle, the reshuffle. Lucius lost one, probably went on to K-Source. Okay, where's Nakaruru? So Nakaruru, because she's in top priority, she's gained an absolute stack of them, of the mythics. But if we go and look at Nakaruru, I bet you she's not going to have, she's going to have other characters ones because we had her in the higher priority. So yeah, she's got a Pharrell piece. She's got Iron Pharrell Iron, and she's got another Iron piece there. So that is interesting. And, and she's, she's got the Pharrell piece, even though we do have a Pharrell Ascended. So, um, basically, I think if you just leave everyone at medium priority, it'll sort out their gear according to who they are um, and give them their gear. So, as you can see, Pharrell has then gone ahead and grabbed two pieces, which he would have stolen off of that Nakaburu uh, because they were his pieces. And now that they are equally matched... There you go, the Pharrell does get his pieces back. So, not a bad intuitive system. I do like that. That is going to be so much easier. Because, like, I'm in the situation where I've got a few extra pieces on my ear on or something like that. For like a like gear, because I haven't got like a ascended. And it's just annoying trying to go around and find where all your gear is. So, I really, I really do like that feature. So, that is another nice quality of life. And the last thing I wanted to touch on from this update is back to the Nomura. Uh, like we covered it in the last video, uh, the first time an enemy gets close to her, she's going to activate the effects of her Beguile ability against all nearby enemies. So this is going to take longer to activate. And I wanted to bring it in because I was talking about it because I was purely pumped for the possible synergies between Iron and Chicken, dragging everyone and mind controlling everyone. I feel like it would be a massively meta comp if it works. I don't know anyone on the test server yet that has this to test. So I'm waiting to see if someone posts something on Reddit or something like that. But some people in the comments of that video did come up with a very valid point, And that was that it's actually going to be a nerf to all those little comps like we looked at in the video, uh, like where she mind controls a Scraggy, turns straight around and uses it, mind control a Lawson and make him link his uh, his teammates. That, that stuff is no longer probably going to be possible. However, which, which is a nerf to those situations. However, I feel like it's all going to be worth it if the chicken iron combo can then mind control the whole team. Like if you can just straight up know, I'm coming into battle, I'm gonna instantly mind control the whole enemy team for six seconds. I just feel like it's broken. So if that doesn't work, then it will be a nerf. But I just thought that there was that real good point. I was just too, I was too tunnel vision in that video on, on chicken and iron. You guys know how I get about that combo. But uh, but yeah, that is gonna be for this update. Really nice update. Let me know in the comments what you guys think are gonna be the best combos. Like, how do you think the artifact thing is gonna change? 
the meta as such. Bosses, PvP, hopefully PvE, it'll make it better as well. Man, I'm stuck on that <laughs> I'm stuck on that last stage of 29. Hopefully it helps me there. But uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see any ideas that you guys have. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.